Workers. They're weak. They lack discipline. They lack commitment. General, I know there's been a glitch or two, but everybody is working, full tilt as it is, and... You can't help it. It's your nature. But in spite of your limitations, you are going to finish this tunnel on schedule. Come hell or high water. From now on, anyone who falls behind is going to have to personally explain themselves to Colonel Cutter. And let me assure you, the Colonel is not as understanding as I am. Dismissed. Four more days, Cutter. Four more days. And we can bid final farewell to their kind of incompetence. Yes, sir. A fresh start. Imagine it. A strong colony, sir. A colony we can be proud of. Yes, but we're not there yet. Cutter, we just got word that a termite army has mobilized against us. Against us? We'll have to send troops deep into hostile territory to attack their colony. Attack a termite colony, sir? That's suicide. Exactly. Do you have the list I ask for? Yes, General. These are the units loyal to the Queen. Hmm. Then they're the ones we'll be sending. It's a shame. There's some fine officers here. Don't we need the Queen's approval to declare war? Our very next stop, Cutter. General, we've been at peace with that colony for years. Why would they attack us? They want our land. They're desperate for more foraging territory. Perhaps they think we've grown soft or weak. Why don't we dispatch an ambassador? Negotiate a new treaty. Certainly we don't need to send soldiers. Believe me, every ant in this colony is so precious to me. Uh, that's why we must strike now. We have the element of surprise. If the termite shock troops enter our colony, well... Yes, General. I know what they can do to us. Very well. You've made a wise decision. In fact, you've ensured the future of this colony. Hello, General. Princess Bala. Oh, what a nice surprise. You look lovelier each time I see you. Thanks. I hope you're not just here on business. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course not. Because um, it might be nice if we had a conversation once before we get married? You're absolutely right. Cutter, uh, schedule some private time for me and Princess Bala. Uh, in fact, sir, there is time right now for a personal moment. We're a few seconds ahead of schedule. Excellent. Ooh. Princess? <laughs> well, a few seconds isn't much, but I guess if it's quality time. So, how was your day? Anything interesting happen? We declared war. Declared war? Boy, talk about a rough day. Sir, I hate to interrupt, but time stands still for no end. Princess. Mom, could you remind me? Why am I marrying this guy? Vala, do we have to argue about this again? We don't seem to have anything in common. The guy's a stiff. Yes, darling, I know the general may be a little gruff and somewhat overbearing at times, but I know that he cares about you. He's just not particularly good at showing it. But you should have seen how persistently he asked for your hand in marriage. But why me? Because you're the one who has to continue my work. It's your place, dear. What if I don't like my place? Everyone has their place, Bala. You, the soldiers, the workers. Now, it's not all that bad being princess, is it? Would you prefer to be carting around dirt all day? Oh, mother, don't be so dramatic. At least they seem to have some fun every now and then. <laughs> <laughs>